Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us. If you're new to the channel, my name is Joshua Hines, and this is Construction Junction. So today we're in Laurel, Maryland, um, and we have a uh, set of steps that we're working on. Uh, and this is a very typical situation where you have a, a new construction home and they don't put steps on the rear sliding door lead, leading out the first floor. Sometimes it's up higher, sometimes it's low to the ground, but most of the times it needs steps. So what they'll do as builders is they'll just block it off and assuming eventually you'll be adding steps, you know, in the manner that you want. Uh, whether it's gonna be a deck, patio, something of the case. But right now we're putting in a set of steps just so that the client can access the uh, ground level uh, out of the rear of the home instead of needing to walk all the way around from the front of the house to get to the back. Uh, so let me show you what we got here. So you can see that's the sliding door coming out the rear of the home. And we're gonna add a set of steps, the width of this sliding door, just to access this backyard. Um, so, you know, we got our concrete here. We have our wood here. We're just getting set up right now. But first thing is to think about when it comes to this, you want to make sure um, you have the proper wood. In this case, we're going to be using uh, pressure treated uh, wood for the stringers, which is the support of the steps. And we need to add a concrete base here so that the stringers can land on something. So you don't want them to just sit on the ground because the uh, ground, it moves and also it's not a solid surface so eventually you know you want your steps to be a structural piece that's in place and not moving around whether it's winter summer expansion contraction you just want it to land on a solid surface now you might not see the pad that's underneath of the steps but the stringers themselves are going to sit on the pad so we're going to have to dig an area out here form it up and just put uh lay some concrete there so the stringers can land. Um, other than that, we're gonna incorporate uh, this whole width. It'll be handrail on either side. And this will just be a quick little access to get to the rear of the house. Now, at some point, you know, if you wanna add a patio or even a deck back here, you can in the future. Uh, so, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you do what you have to do to serve the purpose for now, even though plans, bigger plans might be in the future, uh, just to make it easier on you. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I uh, appreciate everybody for uh, liking and commenting on the last video, the TikTok lights. Uh, that was so much fun to do. Uh, you know, we, we, we had a blast uh, doing it as a weekend project. Uh, so, you know, continue. Uh, share it to your friends on your social medias. The share button is right below this video. Share it to your Facebook, uh, your Instagram, or whatever. And let's spread this word on, on what we're doing. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video. So I uh, just wanted to explain a little bit about this. Uh, we are custom building this stuff, this stair. Um, we're creating our own uh, ledger boards out of two by 12 material. So I just want you to, to see what goes through my mind when we're doing something out of scratch, from scratch. So 
if you look at this board here, um, what we've done here is that we came down an inch and a quarter. So our, our tread material is an inch. So we're a quarter inch down. You, you want to make sure that you're not competing with, with, with this uh, threshold here. You want to be below it. So we got a quarter inch space. So once we put our, our tread material on here, we're clearly down. Um, now, so this is the structure. So this is bolted to the uh, ledger board that's running along uh, this, this uh, floor of the house. Just wanted to go through the calculation. So this is the point of when you're building something custom, especially stairs, math comes into play. Uh, and you have to know the uh, calculations of what you're doing. So in this case, uh, what's important is, is the rise, which is the height from the ground. But it's not the height from the ground at the house. It's the height from the ground once you level out to where your stairs are gonna end. So we have a 35 inch rise here. Uh, according to what we just leveled. Uh, so with that being said, you know, a good rise tread height is between seven and eight inches. So you wanna be between seven and eight inches. That's what's typical. So when you step up the stairs, seven to eight inches feels like an appropriate step height, you know, as you rise each step. Now, you gotta make sure that's on point because if the step is even an eighth inch off, like you have, you know, three of them at seven and one at seven and an eighth, you will trip on that step every time, guaranteed. So you wanna make sure this is precise work. You gotta get your numbers down, uh, exactly what you're doing. Uh, so in this case, like I said, we have the 35 inch rise. We have, so we have a seven inch tread. Actually seven into 35 is five. So that's, that's how we got that, that height number, exactly at seven. So that tells us that we're gonna have five steps at seven inches high that'll give us two our rise at 35 inches. All right, so now let's talk about the, the width of, of the tread. What's typical, you wanna be around 10 inches. Uh, the average shoe size in, in the world is, is 10 inches. Uh, most people are either a little lower, a little higher. So 10 to 11 is the range that you wanna be in. And keep in mind with the tread, you're gonna have a, a little bit of a hangover. So, that, you know, you wanna set your stringer at 10. It'll end up like 10 and a half or 11 once you put your tread material on. So with that being said, we wanna target that 10 number. We know we have five steps coming up, right? So five times 10 is 50. So 50 inches from the house is where that step is gonna end over here. So that's pretty much the, the mathematics into uh, calculating how to build these steps. Now we'll take those numbers, that, that seven inch number and the 10 inch number, and we'll take it to the table and we're gonna build our stringers now. So here's, here's how, how that's gonna go. And we'll explain it once we finish. All right, so this tool here is a framing square. A, now this is a very old one, but you know, still, we can use it and, it, and you know, we get all the work out of it that we can get out of it. This is one of the most powerful tools that we have in our arsenal. And the reason why is that this is how we make stairs, custom stairs, rafters, uh, anything that has an angle on it. We use the, the numbers that's on this uh, framing square to figure out like what the pitch is going to be on a roof. Uh, stairs, how, how, how are we going to actually lay them out? So I just want to do a quick little lesson on just the stair portion. So um, if we go back to our numbers that we just talked about, uh, we said that our, our tread height, our rise is going to be seven inches per stair, right? So we have a number seven uh, on here. Now, when you use the, the numbers on the framing square, it's either you need to use the outside numbers or use the inside numbers. Now the angle is the same, but you can't use the outside on, on one side and the inside on the other. It throws off the uh, measurement. So in this case, I'm gonna use the outside. I think it's a, a little bit easier when we're doing stairs. So uh, I'm gonna hold my finger at the seven and our run with, was uh, 10 inches. So we're gonna have a, 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 a 10 inch per step uh, length. So I'm gonna put my finger at the 10. And we simply, what we do, is that you see we have three here already down so I'm gonna start with the next one and I'm gonna put the seven 
right at the peak at where this tread ends, I'm gonna put the seven there. Then I'm gonna rotate the 10, flush with the wood, my 10 is gonna end right there at the end of the wood. And so that creates our step. So this is our seven inch rise, and this is our 10 inch run. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one. That's simple. Now I know I need to have five steps, right? So if I look at this, if I was to stand this up, this is the, the, the bottom of the stringer, this is the top. So we're cutting these triangles out, which is gonna create our step. Now even before you start marking them, you need to know which side of the board is up and which side is down. So every piece of wood there is, it's either it's gonna bow up or it's gonna bow down. So essentially, uh, it's a little, more dramatic than what it actually is but this wood is either going to bow a little like this or it's going to bow a little like that so you want your bow up right so if i look at this it looks like this is bowing outwardly right and so what that means is that this side is the top this is the bottom so this is bowing in the same direction so that when we stand it up and it's now it's a stringer when the weight is put on the wood, it'll just fall down to, to level, right? So the bow will go down. Now, if you do it the opposite way and you have the bow at the bottom, when you put weight on it, it's just gonna go further, right? So that's the reason why you always have your bow up. And wood is never straight. Uh, we try to get it as straight as possible, but it's never gonna be straight. So you need to know what's up and what's down. Right, day one is finished we have our landing pad poured and we'll see how this turns out tomorrow tomorrow we'll come here and we'll strip the uh, wood from around this this pad and we'll start to set our stringers you, you see we have those made up I think we got to get one more from the store because there's six total right now we got five and we'll use this template to cut one more start installing them, start putting the steps together. So, uh, see you tomorrow on this project. You see our, our new signs we got. I love them, it turned out good, not nice and crisp. Uh, but we're looking pretty good here on this job. See you tomorrow.
Hey everyone, all right, so we're back for, for day two of the uh, stair project. Uh, we ended up getting the uh, the foundation poured for the bottom of the steps so that the stairs can have a, a permanent landing spot. Uh, so as the ground moves over time in the winter and in the summer, uh, it's not gonna change the height of the steps or move them. Uh, so what we install is, everything we install, the structure has to be permanent and in place and not moving so let's take a look so here's what we have i pulled the forms from around the concrete so that's going to be in place now the majority of it is going to be under the steps so you're not going to really be able to see it but it's there and so we have our stringers uh cut and installed well it's not installed yet but they're cut and i just got them there as testers to so you see where they fall so they're gonna be flush with the top of that ledger board running along here. And they're gonna end up down on top of that concrete form that we have installed. And so now what I'm doing, I'm just trying to think ahead uh, to make the job easier for myself. Um, so I'm making these side panels, which is being made out of a uh, PVC, uh, just a sheet of, of, of PVC, which is quarter inch thick for these side panels. So they'll give us that white look along the side the part that you'll see uh, all this treated wood if you can imagine is going to be under uh, underneath the stairs so you're not going to be able to see it everything that you see is either going to be white or it's going to be the tread material that we have right here so this is the tread so everything's going to have a finished look and we have a white handrail but the structural part is what we're working on now so I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue with the video. just wanted to show you where we were at. And we're going to get it moving so you can see this is the part that I'm cutting out here. You can see I have it marked based on my template. All right, we're going to get into the video. All right, so here's the look of the stringers installed. You can see the 16 on center. So that's a little overkill, but you know, when you're building these things, you want them to be strong. So 16 on center is what we chose to do here. And you can see they're all exactly the same because we made the templates and it lands on the foundation pad perfectly, just as we measured it out. So I just wanted to quickly give you a little look of what it looks like before we start putting the treads on and the risers. And you can see that there's a dry vent there, which is gonna be fine underneath. All right. All right, just want to give you a quick little update on where I'm at. So you can see we got the treads on the top. Got my hangers underneath. And that white board that I cut off out of the template, you can see where that's gonna go now. So that's what you'll see. This, this finished white is what you'll see uh, on the outside. Now all this brown wood will be covered but you can see why I need to put it in because it affects the length of my tread. I mean, I'm sorry, this is the tread. It's the, it's the length of my riser. So I'm putting another white piece here, which is gonna be half inch thick, but you know, as it, so I close this riser area off so it's not see-through uh, and I'm gonna bring it all the way to the edge here. So I needed that in there first so I can get that length so I can go from white piece, white PVC to white PVC. So you can see it over here as well. Then it'll look nice and finished once we finish. So we're gonna continue on.
Alright, so we come to the conclusion of this uh, stair project, you, you can see behind me, and it's just a six foot stair built outside of a sliding door so that the client can access the rear of their home. I guess when this house was built, it didn't have stairs coming down uh, in case you wanted to put a deck or a patio here. So this is step one for, for the client. Uh, we're finishing it up and it's starting to pour down raining, but I wanted to show you real, real quick what it looks like. So here, here's what we have. Let it get in focus. Here's what we have. Nice set of stairs, and you know we got the right amount of stringers in here that we need. Uh, you saw it in the time lapse. Coupled with nice vinyl uh, rail, you know, nice caps, everything standard, but nice, you know, nice rails nice color on the uh, treads you can see all of them are even we screwed this down uh, with stainless steel trim screws and we got the white vinyl uh, risers on there so you have that color nice color combination that looks really good and remember this is landing on a concrete pad that we had in the beginning so we're, we're really happy with this Hopefully the, the client will be happy with it. And as in any of our jobs, we offer a one year warranty. So if anything were to happen or, or come up, then we're, we're gonna take care of it. And that's what we do here um, at Springdale Construction, Construction Junction on YouTube. That's what we do. And so hopefully we have another satisfied client. I'm about to go in and talk with them now. So I just wanted to give you a quick little look before we left this project. All right, thanks for staying with us through this project. Please subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash that like button. It, it really helps the channel. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace.